Zulu is virtual DJ software you can use on your desktop or laptop. Mix track after track during live performances or simply let Zulu be the DJ for you. You might also be interested in Mixpad multi-track mixing software for mixing audio clips together for soundtracks, recording your band, recording voiceovers, and more. The Zulu interface is simple. The playlist is at the bottom, decks A and B are at the top, and the crossfader is in between the two decks. Create a music list in Zulu by clicking the Add button to add tracks. Move tracks around to arrange them in the order you need. Click the Autoplay button to let Zulu mix your tracks for you, or mix the tracks manually using the decks. To use the decks, drag and drop a track onto deck A. Then click the Play Pause button to play the track. While track A is playing, load another track into deck B. As deck A finishes playing, click the Play Pause button on deck B, then auto fade to the right using the arrows on either side of the crossfader. While deck B is playing, right click deck A to reset it for loading a new track. Smooth transitions between clips requires lining up the beats per minute, or BPM, of the tracks in the decks. Zulu automatically detects the BPM of each track when a track is loaded on the deck and creates beat markers based on the detected BPM. Use the Sync button to automatically align a track's BPM to the BPM of the track on the other deck before crossfading. If the BPM needs adjusting, select Edit BPM from the deck's menu. Either enter the correct BPM or tap the beat on your spacebar, and the beat markers on the deck will be updated to match the adjusted BPM. For advanced DJs, line up the BPM between two tracks using either the pitch control slider to speed up or slow down the track, or use the speed control arrows to temporarily speed up or slow down the track during crossfading. While tracks are on the decks, you can set cue points to trigger a specific highlight of the track or to cue up the precise beginning of the track. Use the Set Cue Point button to set a cue point at the cursor location. Then click Cue Pause to cue the mark and Cue Play to begin playing the track at the cue point. Create a loop by clicking the loop button on the deck, then positioning the loop by dragging the blue bar through the waveform. If the loop doesn't line up perfectly when you play it, try editing the BPM to realign the beat markers so the loop lines up. You can select different durations for the loop from the loop menu, up to 32 beats. Control the bass, mid, and high frequencies using the equalizer sliders, or cut off any of the frequencies with the kill buttons. Add live effects to a track by clicking the black triangle to the right of the effect. Edit the effects parameters by clicking the E button, and then adjust the settings in the adjacent edit window. Note that when you reset a deck, the equalizer and effects are not reset. While performing live, you will want to sync up your tracks without the audience hearing using headphones. To listen to one deck while the other is playing, Click the headphone output button, then play the second track. This will only work if you have a sound card or driver that supports multiple outlets. Learn more from the headphone output button section of the play controls topic in the help manual. For more audio software from NCH Software, visit the address shown on your screen.